the way you were rocking the life in the world eh? when you drank the way you drank when you smoked the way you smoked when you were womanizing the way you were womanized you finished the curriculum in the same way now eh? let's finish the bible I'm going to go somebody. Let's talk to people about Jesus. Let's stay awake for night. There's nothing. Your past means nothing. What's important now is your present and your future. I was blind, but now I see. I'm going to go somebody. Hallelujah. You can boldly say yes. I used to I used to be addicted but now I have a new addiction amen mm. the same way you are addicted to you know to you were addicted to something the same exact way imagine if you are addicted to God's presence in exactly the same way you are addicted to prayer or to studying the word you cannot die without producing impact say we all used to be bad boys too we used to be bad boys too amen i know some of you can't imagine it amen but we used to be bad boys too hallelujah we're mean we're mean and we're thorough we're thorough we're clean we used to do a clean job leave no, leave no traces behind yes yes amen leave no traces behind we're deep think of the kingdom a mindset is for souls tell him for souls if you are going to produce impact you have to think of souls there is no such thing as a successful impact if it is not people oriented mm. after this conference six days or retreat there should be a change see you carry your Bible going around from room to room hostel to hostel don't wait to be a pastor to do it if you wait to be a pastor to do it you will never become a pastor watched how he had been taking care of the sheep and God saw he's doing it well he can take care of the kingdom move around room to room we are getting people to church it doesn't matter whether brother A or brother C whether evangelism team are doing it or not you go do it the God who sees what is done in secret he rewards in open Pastor Frank is busy and is forgetting to call sister so and so and he has not checked up on this person but you take note of every time who was not in church and after service you call them and you report to him oh pastor I want to tell you there's this thing this sister is going through you know um, I don't know if you are aware but I just wanted to inform you oh thank you so much for the information you are working your work you are doing what you are doing you are playing your part in the kingdom you are thinking of people God is watching looking for people who like high service I tell people what I'm doing today I was doing it before I became a pastor if I if pastorship is, is, is removed from me today I will still be doing it my interest has always been in people call her call him what happened today in service I noticed you are not smiling something troubling your heart you don't have to tell me if it's something but I think you may need to talk to pastor I advise you talk to pastor if you don't I will draw it to his attention not the one every time you come to church it's just about you and you and you 
you come. Hallelujah. Amen. I receive. Oh, after service, you go home. No, that's not impact. That's impact. <laughs> when you impact, you are influencing people. You are looking around for lives to bless. the first thing she did immediately she met God she went out to share it's time to share something here. Yes, sir. it's time to what share something I want to conclude with this one you are children and I know you are growing but well, let me tell you this it's an error Please listen to what I'm saying to you. Out of love. It's an error, a very strong and fundamental error for Pastor Frank at his level to still be running up and down trying to fix technical stores. Is there no man that God can use? Who isn't an expert? But who's made up his mind? I refuse to be here. Instead of me sitting here, singing in, the, in this place, I'd rather go there. I know I can sing, but I'd rather go there and be a blessing. If this is the thing I can fix, I'll stay there and fix it. I'll learn it until it is done. And I bench this man. you really think that the grace upon his life or the angel or the spirit upon his life is going to be completely pleased to see that at the time when he's supposed to be blessing you in other ways every time he has to be doing something that someone else is supposed to be doing you automatically short circuit your blessing when you give him something to worry about you you short circuit your blessing the Bible says Elisha poured water on Elijah's hands. Mm. It took off problems from him. Just tell him, don't worry, you, I have this handled. You sit down, I'll fix it. I'm going to stop singing today. From today in this church, I will not sing until this thing is addressed. I can sing and that's my passion. But I'd rather not sing. I'd rather serve. Tell you what I would do. I forget everything else to meet a dying need. And I will not care that there is somebody or some other person who is supposed to be doing it. I'm concerned about fixing the problem. I don't say, oh, there's a bra bra bra, so so and so is supposed to do it. There's no so there's nobody who is assigned to do anything. Huh? Hallelujah. If he doesn't do it, somebody else gets a blessing. If he's, if he's supposed to be here and he's not here, I'm going to do it. If he has decided to neglect his office and his responsibilities, I'm going to fix it. I'll avail myself. Can I give you practical proof? Because the way some of you are looking at me. It's mm. biblical. That's how kings are made. Yes, sir. David went one day, he went somewhere one day, and he heard um, somebody insulting, a cursed be the God of the Jews. He's like, What? And he came and he's like, what? And he saw King Saul shaking there, doing nothing. And he saw his brothers and all the entire army shaking, doing nothing. Nobody told him. God did not ask him. Prophet did not prophesy to him. He responded. <laughs> he made himself available. He says, instead of, I cannot stand here and watch somebody insulting my God. And when he took that step, God blessed him and gave him a resounding victory that led to his elevation. He could have decided, oh, no, 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 I just came to give food, and then I'm going back. No. I know you may have come with intention to sing, or to play keyboard, or to stand behind camera. But in the ministry and in churches like this, the most important problem is sound. If 
I wasn't pastor. Huh? I'll, be, I'll be in that sound now. I'm telling you the truth. I wasn't a pastor here. I'll be in this sound. As I come, I see him running around. I'll go to the sound. I dedicate my whole holiday to learn and to understand everything. And I tell you, it will not take more than one month. I'll be the one teaching the people in the department. Because most times, one of the reasons problems like this happen is because people are unwilling to learn. I know I've learned people before, especially the average African person. They think they know. And you can't blame them, that's as much as they can see. The problem will happen last Sunday. It happened yesterday. It will happen again tomorrow. Why? No. I'll say, I'm tired of this thing repeating itself. I'm discontented. So I just want to, I just want to say this. You want to go to the palace? Learn to say. A lot of times we love to be in front of or behind of the camera and behind of the mic. I'm not holding mic today because I wanted to be in front of them. In front. I've never wanted it. I've never liked it. Do you know, eh? The greatest person you need to impact in your life is him now. Is one? Him. In this church. Sometimes it's even better than winning five souls. When your pastor is not happy, when he's not okay, when he's not satisfied, when he wishes he had time to do other things, but he's still in the same spot and not fix the same thing. shouting hallelujah and amen <coughs> and yet there are others who do not shout the hallelujah and amen and blessings are finding them because of what they're doing I just want to advise you make your priorities straight know what's most important please your man of God Help him out. Be kingdom minded. What others are sweating to get, you can get and we get on the platter. There are blessings which will locate him tomorrow now. There are some people he will just naturally give to. be all from me. I hope we have learned a thing or two. Hallelujah. Just before I take my seat, I want to give opportunity like I always do for questions. If there be any questions. Do we have any questions? Before we move to other things, there's a question here, please. Please, the mic. You want to know the food? Amen. Those are kind of things. Amen. You don't need them. Amen. Those are kind of things. Praise the Lord. She wants to know about the food. Amen. Those are foods we say in secret. Amen. If I'm not saying it in public, then you should know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says the prophet Elijah ate locust and honey. Amen. I've answered you. Praise God. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not taking locusts and honey, so don't think it's locusts and honey. Amen. But you see, prophets many times they eat one food. So, yeah, that's done. Amen. Uh, cake is by the side. Amen. Cake, we love cake here, but it's not cake I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Any other question? Any question? Is that a question? If 
are no questions, it's just they, they, they must be questions. I mean, I did not like I, I didn't teach anything complicated, just scroll to see if there are questions or anything. Is there a question? Is there a hand up? Oh, okay. So no questions, right? All right, then God bless you. I'll invite Pastor Frank to take over from there. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, you enjoy trading until like never before. This is the best moment ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are we saying to Papa? That is so weak. If you know you were imparted, can you celebrate Papa for just a wonderful wisdom word like this? Hallelujah. And also let's celebrate Dr. Pastor Leona. Also help me celebrate my senior brother in ministry, Pastor Imo, my senior brother in ministry. Please celebrate him. Hallelujah. And I'll celebrate all the others. Please let me be quick to celebrate my brother on the corner all the way from Ivano. Please celebrate him if he came all the way from Ivano. And now celebrate yourself for being part of Impact 20. Celebrate God for what He's doing, the renovation that is taking place in your mind. You are going through renovation. We bless God for the awesome time in His presence. I just wish Papa will be around in the night, amen. Hallelujah. Uh, can you tell Papa to be around in the night? <laughs> When I say it in secret, it's going to be like I want to bribe you, but we need you to stay here. Papa, we need you to stay here. Amen. I know it's going to be a sacrifice by part, but we will be glad to have you. When the Father speaks, you know. Amen. Hallelujah. Then there's something about fathers. You can't, you can't be, there's something about fathers. Hallelujah. When Papa Lena speaks, you know. Hallelujah. When Pastor you are speaking, when small boys be like that, we are speaking, you know. Hallelujah. Please, I don't know, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Can you prepare something for God as we how we up to leave here? And don't forget, evening service is 6 p.m. Yeah.